Hi everyone, I'm sure those of you who watched my vacuum pump video have noticed that the plexiglass lid is different from the one I made with the pump. So now I want to quickly explain why and I want to do it here because the reason I had to change it has to do with stabilizing resin. So what you've seen so far has been my first successful attempt at stabilizing wood but before buying that Caxtus Jewish resin that you have seen earlier I tried another brand of stabilizing resin, this one called Term 100. The process I went through is pretty much the same as you saw already, but while the resin was bubbling up under vacuum, the resin foam touched the plexiglass and shortly after I started to see many tiny cracks in the plastic and I think that the resin has weakened the plexiglass probably because it's solvent based. Anyway. After holding full vacuum for a couple of hours to stabilize these pieces, I realized that all the lid surface was cracked and shortly after it shattered while I was trying to pull vacuum again to see if it would hold up. And yeah, that's why I had to get another lid and this time I bought one 20mm thick so that it doesn't deform and while I was waiting for that I also ordered some rubber tubing to make a better gasket without any cut or glue holding it in place. So if you want to try this be sure to avoid solvent based resin if you have any plastic parts in your vacuum pump or chamber. And also another mistake I made with the Turn 100 resin is to cure it at higher temperature than it was needed and that made most of the resin to get out from the wood and in fact judging by the weight there was barely any left inside. So be sure to have some way to check for actual temperatures because most toaster ovens aren't really precise enough for something like this. Thank you all for watching and see you next week. Bye bye.